everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the largest thrift haul of all time. Yes, that's correct. We have a pile, a literal pile of stuff. It's a mountain. Right there. If you're new here, welcome. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you. We are full-time resellers on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, located in Dallas, Texas. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. And we do stuff every week. Every Monday night, we put out a What Sold Sunday. You can see every single thing that sells for us and how much it's sold for, and hopefully that can inform your reselling decisions. That's right. That's um, what we're here for. Yeah, and we're gonna go bust through this pile of stuff, show you everything that we have picked up in probably, what, this is just a week of sourcing? Yeah, we have no business sourcing. Death None. falls out of control. <laughs> we can't help <clears throat> ourselves. Cannot do it. So we're gonna go through this massive pile of stuff. Um, you guys strap in, get some snacks. We're gonna be here a little while. Hopefully you're listing. A lot of people <laughs> do the listing while we put our videos up. Yeah. I love that. I do too. Because working for yourself is kind of lonely. Right. It's so, always always nice to have somebody there working alongside with you. You know, I was going to start listing stuff today and do a live. Oh. And like list with me. I'm going to do it. That's a great idea. Maybe you guys can join us over on Instagram. All right. We're going to... We're going to start right in here. All right. This is a pair of... These are of, so tiny. These are uh, the they're smallest. coming from me. This is a pair of frame frame denim there you go that's what that come on focus in there lay skinny jeans they are cropped. Skinty. they're very skinny very cropped very small <laughs> we are not the um the resellers that won't smell sell small things these were uh, eight bucks so that's a lot for us size 24 yeah but frame does decently well so the I jeans mean, not the chinos right the jeans sell not necessarily for a whole lot of profit, but they, they go quick. So these will probably, I'm sure once we get those listed, they'll be gone within a couple of days. Yeah, I put those in the pants pile. We've been on pants a pants pile. binge, listing all the pants. All and right. they've been selling, so. Spe speaking of pants. It's good. You were very excited about these. You know, I was. I don't, I don't know if I should have been, but I am. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tag. Okay, this is from a brand called Dis which I don't, I don't know anything about. You don't know this? I do not, I don't know this. <laughs> um, but these look like, these are linen cotton blend. Um, there was some sort of like embroidery on these too, wasn't there? Yeah, show them the, show them the other part. They're, it gets better, yeah, this guys. Is, so this is the, sh these are shorts and they have, what does this say? What is this? Shadow Boy Collection, okay. There you go. I comp this in store. Yes, so this is the pair of shorts and there is a matching top. Ready? Here you go. Bam, there's the matching top. Well, look at that shadow boy embroidery on there. Anything that's streetwear inspired, I will look it up. Yes. Uh, so we paid what, four bucks? Four bucks for the two pieces. That's awesome. And it's linen. Linen, it's got this shadow boy thing on there which it's like I said, yeah. I don't I don't know much about this, but you looked it up and the comps came back what? A hundred. Hundred dollars. Well, I couldn't find this exact one, but two piece sets were were going for a hundred. Okay. So I don't know about this brand. Somebody in our in our viewing audience will know. Let yeah. us know. Yes. Uh, it's streetwear, and I'm always trying to learn new things. So yep. sometimes when it's four bucks, I just get it to learn. Right. And then if we see something like this again, we'll know. We got to get this listed. Listed. All right, what is this? Oh, I got fooled on this one. You got fooled? fooled. Is this a this is the fake fake retro? Yes. Boom. It's so cool though. Look at that. That looks like straight out of 1984. It like is that Breakfast at Tiffany's or something? It's so cool. <laughs> it's it's a remake. It's a remake. It was eight bucks. Um, it was eight dollars. Seven. No. Seven ninety eight, <gasps> man. Oh yeah, I was gonna give it as a gift. Yeah, yeah, you paid up. <laughs> it was so cool though. I think I'm gonna give it as a gift. I'm not saying to who, because somebody might be watching. Right. Okay, so we we bought that because we were hoping it was going to be a vintage single stitch t-shirt. No, right? no, no, no. I knew it wasn't single stitch okay. because it's not. Right. But but I was hoping that it was like old er, there but it's is, not. There is a there is an old single stitch t-shirt in this pile somewhere and we'll we'll find it here shortly. Somewhere. All right. This I was actually pretty surprised at. You grabbed this off the rack. You you saw this little guy? I love little guys. And you're like, "What is this?" <laughs> And I recognize this immediately. This is Parappa the Rapper. 
This is like a PlayStation 2 video game character. And these shirts, like not this exact one, but others that feature this character, are comping like 80 to to $100. What? Yeah, it's ridiculous. So I don't know if there's just like a huge cult following for this video game character, but um, video game characters, anime characters, um, anything like that, you should at least take the couple of seconds to, to comp it and look it up because it could be valuable. Or you could be like me and be like, oh, that's a cute little guy. <laughs> that's how I do it. That's exactly <laughs> Anytime right. there's a little guy, I look it up. Google Images, your best friend. That's right. Get the Google app. Uh, this is for me. This is a really cool uh, Adidas black um, zipper, like a thin jacket, but it's got this, they're, it's got like this textured print all over it, which nice. is cool. I'm keeping it. <laughs> He's keeping it. Keeping it. All right, what is this? That's my sweater. It's your sweater. Get out of like, here. Like, this is That's my not... actual sweater. <laughs> what? All right, this is a Marc Jacobs denim jacket. Marc Jacobs, there you go. Um, this is an old Marc Jacobs. Right, and it's not Marc by Marc Jacobs, which is a lower tier label. Yeah. This is the the higher higher end uh, yeah. Marc Jacobs label. It's an Vin extra small. I don't know if it's vintage, but like older Marc Jacobs still moves for me. Yeah, and... If it's a classic style. Yeah. That 2000 stuff that looks 2000-y, you don't get that. <laughs> but a, a denim jacket, we gonna be pretty, right. pretty safe bet on the yeah, denim we jacket. Yeah, we gonna be right there. Okay. This is yours too. Get out of here with this. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was a mountain. My stuff got buried in it. Oh, that's a, that's co a costume. costume. Get out so of here. So this is the reason we've been thrifting when we shouldn't have been. I had a show go up. I'm a costume designer. And so I was out looking for show pieces. Right. And what is wrong with my show? You are a twisted sister. Twisted. So, you know, when you're out and you're just like, well... Two, two birds, I say? Two, kill two birds with one stone. I don't want to kill birds, but you know what I mean. All right, what we got here? This is a trucker hat. Trucker hats are very popular at the moment. Are they still? Some are, yeah. This is from uh, Guy Harvey. Oh, I remember that. I, I don't know anything about this. What? You don't remember Guy Harvey? I, I don't remember this, no. Okay, you're not from the East Coast. But this was uh, two bucks, and comps are in the $30 range, if I remember correctly. So some truck, there's like... This is not a trucking brand. This is like a coastal, all my boater friends have Guy Harvey. Yeah, and it's got the cool, you know, Marlin on there. So <laughs> somebody will want that. You can put hash, hats in the dishwasher. This one needs to be dishwashed. It does need to be dishwashered. Let's you see. have to get a special thing though. Don't just like throw oh, it Oh, this there. was four bucks and this is... This 2000 called. What is this? Oh. <laughs> You got that for you? I got this for me. We can't pass up the hustle stuff. Can't do it. Um, Should we make hustle merch, you guys? I really think people need it. This is from Chill. And, I mean, like, again, I got it because it said hustle, and I'm keeping it. The question is, why aren't you wearing it? That would be awesome. Because I, I forgot it was in there. I, I know. know. Who got the pile? What is this, a jersey? What is this? Yeah, you got this. Oh, this yeah. is a good one. This is a good one. Grambling State uh, Tigers yes. jersey. Look at that logo. That's hot. Isn't that great? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Grambling State is a it's an HBCU, which is a historically black college and university. Uh, their is marching it? band is awesome and like world renowned. Really? Um, yeah, they put on insane marching shows. Uh, this was five bucks and worth it. Totally worth it. It's from BigBoyGear.com. Uh, and I believe cool this is should wow. be licensed. To, uh, I'll have to look for a tag to see if it's, well, it's got all this stuff down here. Officially yeah. licensed. Um, yeah, it's got to be. It's got an HBCU tag on it. That's awesome. There you go. Um, yeah, this this will do well. This is so great. Oh my gosh, this is hot. Isn't it cool? I'm always happy to support historically black universities as well. All right, this, we are a Black Lives Matter channel. Hi. Right. This, this ah! is a junk bag. This is a two for one junk bag. Uh, this, <laughs> this has is a junk bag. this has Seal cosmetic stuff in it from Mary Kay. So you want to tell the people about your cosmetic thing? Yeah, I sell cosmetics. I know cosmetics, and I sell them. And Mary Kay's a little bit difficult to sell on the eBay, mm. but I'm gonna figure it out. Right. 
And there's a bunch of these. So I like to buy things that are multiples. Yeah. And a lot of times junk bags will have a lot of the same thing in one bag. Yeah. That makes it easier to list, even more easy. And then... Um, it was a dollar, right? For the whole bag? A dollar. So I sell one of these. Yeah. Come on, junk. Come on. All right. Um, I found a couple of... Yes. Foo Fighters concert DVDs. We love selling concert DVDs. Um, yeah, we haven't really broken into the DVD VHS market, you know, because I mean there are super valuable ones out there, but this kind of stuff it doesn't sell for an insane amount of money, but it does go for sure. Like some Foo Fighters fan is like, oh, I was at that show, or I never saw that concert. I have to have it. Mm -hmm. So those should do well. There's what? two Foo Fighters DVDs and a, what's this third one? It's the extras. Extras. It's like a season. Oh, from HBO. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is great. And it was only two bucks or something. Yeah. That's amazing. We're super fans of a band, so we know what it's like. That's right. What is this? This is, oh, cool. This is a black thrice uh, band, band shirt. Love thrice. I might have to keep that. That is pretty cool, right? Octopus. It, it, it looks octopus. very small. This is a. That's a squid. It's an upside down squid. I might have to keep this. I love Thrice. <laughs> I don't really wear band tees though. Yeah. Should make me happy. We do pretty well with band tees. I think we've sold a Panic at the Disco and a Garth Brooks and things like that. Yeah. Concert tour um, tees. Tour tees. Yeah. If they yeah. have like tour dates on the back and they're from a show, those are. Better, relatively sometimes. safe to pick up let's see this was five bucks oh this is super cool this is a vintage pony boys um boys puffer vest you mean amy's i mean amy puffer vest that's exactly right i have to have this how <laughs> sporty spice would i look in this i mean you couldn't be any more sporty in this this was five bucks nice good pickup yeah we i'll comp it yeah even if we're not selling that that's great i'm a comp it i always comp it and then if it's like not great i keep it all right, guys, here's here's the lesson. Nostalgia sells, right? <laughs> I know this. You know this. We have not even looked this up, but you guys remember this thing? Look at this, the little Fisher Price. Do it. This is at my <laughs> grandma's house, and my mom, as a child, used to play with it. I know this toy. I saw it immediately. I'm like, put it in the cart. Put it in the cart for $1.91. Look at that. I mean, this is, like I said, this is gonna be, not, even if it's not worth it, big, big money, somebody. 1966. Somebody has to have this. My mom was born in 1960. I told you she had this. Yeah. I knew it was hers. Wow. This that's was pretty, hers. That's pretty cool. Um, there and you go. her brothers and sisters. All right, we got a couple, what else? Fisher Price. Here? Fisher Price, old school this is Fisher so cool. Price. All right, we're gonna figure it out. We will figure it out. It was only a buck, so we'll figure it out later. That's how we could do in the thrift store. If it's cheap enough, figure it out later. All right, this still has a tag remnant on it. What oh, is this? New oh, tag this remnant. This is another band shirt. This is a Halsey shirt. Halsey's cool. pretty pretty hot right now, I think. Hot. Trent Reznor just produced her new album, so. That's a cool shirt. That's pretty cool. You trying to keep that? No, I think it's too big. No. Oh. It's too big. Okay, sell it. All right. This is all from. This is all. This, we got a. We picked up a bunch people. of band shirts. This Do is it. from the store called the Family Thrift Center, not the outlet. If you watch McThrifty, Mackenzie shops at the Family Thrift Center outlet for two dollars. Uh, okay. So they might be familiar. We went to the one that wasn't the outlet, but yes. stuff was really cheap. Man, it M was really cheap. MTV shirt. You guys ready? Boom. Dead. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> And it's still got a tag. I mean, I'm sure this is a it's recent a, reprint. This is PacSun. No, Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. So, I mean, this is what, 2017? It's a couple still of years cool, ago. Though, That's still cool, tag. right? You could give that for a gift. Who doesn't want a Daria t shirt? Me. I want it. I mean, you want, I know. I, I, I answered backwards. So, we're trying to pick up new tag stuff as well for a Q4. Yes. Because people give it as gifts. Uh, here we go. Bam. Yes. Nir Nirvana shirt. How it's a cool reprint too, but these yeah, aren't vintage right. or anything, but we're just looking to stock our store with some things. Right, some quick quick flips. That's cool, that's a cool shirt. I like that print. Yeah, that's We cool. have a lot of Nirvana shirts between the two of us, but we don't have this one. There you go. We might now. Uh oh. Uh oh. I had to. I couldn't leave them there. Edison bulbs. Whole bag full. 
And they're all different sizes. There you go. I want these all over my house. Um, I'm sure some are of them more? are blown yeah, out, but more. not all of them are. There's more. Two bucks for each one. So these will. These are cool. These are gonna go in our house. Yeah, these are like the LED uh, kind. LED Edison bulbs. Okay. Uh, we picked up this striped Prana shirt. Prana is a like an outdoor hiking brand, right? So this feels, it's like a little stretchy, it's like a dry fit material, um, five bucks. Prana, it, you know, it's I think this was it's a sale. consistent seller. Yeah, it will move. Yeah. I think this was on sale. Yeah. I wouldn't normally pay five bucks for a regular Prana shirt anymore. Right. Back at two years ago, I probably would have. Ah, uh, here we go. Perfect timing. Yes. Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. Yes. This, this is, ex this kind of stuff is great to start listing right now. We sell it. We've sold so many Nightmare Before Christmas items. Yeah. Love this this really. is, I mean, it's from Disney. It's all officially licensed, so there we go. Even if it's not licensed, we still sell it. That's true. <laughs> all right, this is, what is this? What'd you buy? Did I, I buy this? I, I bought, bought this. this. Oh my God, it's a TomTom. -tom. Someone on Instagram sold a TomTom -tom for a lot of money, so I just bought it. You guys remember TomToms? Little navigation thing. How much was it? This thing was, I think it was a dollar. Is it a dollar? I, I can't read that. Okay, we don't know, but it was very <laughs> cheap, and this is a junk bag, no and idea. someone on Instagram sold one, so I'm gonna try it. All right. We don't even know if it works, so we gotta plug it in. How would you update the map? I don't know. Good. The only thing I do know is that some people cannot learn new technology, so if this right. is what they learned, this is what they know. You right about that. And they gonna pay if theirs goes down. That's true. That's Maybe true. ours will win the war. All I don't right. know. Are you ready? Way. You found, in the linens, you found some super vintage Linens. Yeah, show these real quick, then we gotta put them in oh, the wash. Oh man, they smell so bad. They smell so oh, bad. Oh man. Not bad, they smell like mothballs. They balls. smell like mothballs. I'm dead. Look at that. I am dead. Wow. You guys know I love these vintage linens. I, I Vintage Disney linen, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. This, th I guarantee you, this, this is just one pillowcase and one flat sheet. We can oh my it. god, it smells so mothy bally. Oh. But you know what? Whoa. There's no moth holes in it. Right. <laughs> so what I do is put these <laughs> it's really it's Jesus. Strong. I put these to soak in uh, vinegar okay. in my washing machine in the soak cycle and I do a very long wash. I've scented vinegar and then if it still doesn't come out, we're gonna put them in the freezer. Yeah. And then if it have... still doesn't come out, we put them outside. And then if it still doesn't come out, we're just gonna have to put a note in the listing. Because somebody will pay good money for those. It's true. For sure. And we've sold very similar things in the past, so I'm not just touting them. We do sell a lot of these things. Uh, Watch our unsold videos. You'll see. What's this? This is the <laughs> tiniest little Stay Puffed I've ever seen. Remember the video we had with the big one? That we found at the bins? Here's his little friend. We might put them together. It's always funny when you see the same plush in different sizes. No, we sold the big one, I think. We oh, sold it immediately. Did we? Mm -hmm. Gone. 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 All right. Oh, uh, no, we sold the medium one. We, we, this is our third we had one slightly larger. We had one like this big that sang the song. Yeah, the sold. pushy button. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is our third stay puff. <laughs> uh, this is a packing cube thing for shirts. This is probably going to stay in our, our collection. But this kind of travel stuff especially if it's still got tags on it, is pretty good flip. Pretty good. Yeah. And we find it a lot. Yeah, this was, I mean, $2.30, so. Great. Awesome. All right, this. Oh, I want to keep this so bad. I know you do, right? This is a Just Stow It. This is from Martin Weber and Company. It's, it's an artist bag, right? So you got a whole bunch of. To hold your easel. A whole bunch of compartments and stuff. Velcro pouches. Don't and say Velcro in your listing. Yeah, don't do that. That's a hook and loop. Hook and loop, right? Yeah, and there's like a, a thing for. And it holds your watercolors. Y'all, this is, this is this up is my amazing. alley. Um, yeah, this is like I said, it's an artist bag. It is purpose purpose built for artists, um, and they retail really high. So the resale should be okay. I paid twelve bucks for this. So they said it was anyway. over a hundred. Why I couldn't keep it? Yeah. If well, something's over a hundred dollars, I don't keep it. Probably <laughs> over fifty. What am I talking about? Okay. Oh, that's really cool. You could like go around the city with your with your art supplies. Yeah. 
When I lived in London, I would have died for that. On the tube, and I could have gone to the Regent's Park. And... All right, I'm just gonna start. Just okay, keep, you, keep I'm just. Stuff. I know. All right. Um, this was me. I picked up uh, another snowboard. This Found another snowboard. One? This is the second second snowboard. I feel like we've already told them about this snowboard. No, we told them about that one. Do you guys know we have snowboards? We have skis too. We have. Yeah, I don't. Like How I said, do I'm not. I'm not a snowboarder. I'm not a skier. Um, but I do know that this stuff is valuable, um, and especially for six bucks. I mean, I'm not. It's. It's great, you know, it's got all the bindings, the bindings are attached, it's in good shape. Like I said, I don't know anything about snowboards, so I looked up on Google what to look for in used snowboards. Mm -hmm. So they said you have to check this leading edge right here on both sides, just check for cracks and stuff like that. So I, I just looked at this one in the store pretty well, I didn't notice any major flaws, so I'm gonna take a chance on it. Um, if you don't wanna take a chance on trying to ship something like this, there are other places you can unload this for... Unload it. I mean, seriously, you take it to like a used sporting goods store, like Plating and Plating Sports and or sports, whatever. Yeah. They will buy stuff like this from you. You you won't make as much money as you would if you were to sell it on your own to an end user. But again, if you don't want to deal with shipping or just don't have the knowledge to know how to accurately price something like this... Me. <laughs> take it to play and Sports. Should we take it? Maybe. We Let's have take two. both. And the skis. Let's take those and the skis. And the boots. Like, I mean, why not? Let's see what they'll give us for it, right? Totally. Let's load up the car with the <laughs> We keep buying all this stuff like it's the Pismo Disaster Relief Fund. Yeah, man. Sure. They don't need your skis. <laughs> Daddy. What? Some people lost everything. Right? Okay. Clueless. Let's see. You with me? Oh, I got something nasty on it. Hold on. What is that? That's just a piece of yeah. cardboard from oh, a bag okay. or something. That's This... Cool is an igloo lunch mate black simple but look at that date what does that say seven oh seven 1978 cute that was a good month really good month really great year yeah <laughs> i might have to keep this this one. thing is literally exactly as old as i am i may have to keep it that's cute <laughs> i didn't even notice band, that i, I mean i noticed it was 78 but July 78, that's pretty keep cool. six packs of soda in there. Anything you want to keep cold, son. <laughs> um, all right, we're just gonna keep right on moving here. We don't know about this. I don't know, but this was probably a bad buy. Uh, this is a- Well, it was, because it's the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. If you're new here, Dan <laughs> lives in Dallas, and he's a Dallas fan, and I'm from Washington, so. I don't know. And look, I'm little, wearing maroon and you're wearing blue. A little bit of a football rivalry going on. Anyway. A little bit? A little bit. This was marked 13 bucks. I don't know if it was any discount or not, uh, but it's like a, you know, autographed uh, display football from, I believe, 2000, 2001. Uh, it's autographed by Pepe Zellner, who was not necessarily a big, big name. Pepe Le Pew. Cowboys star. It's also got the mascot signature on there. This is probably not worth a whole lot of money, but... Should we take it to play again in sports? Maybe. Boom. You never know. There might be a, peppy, a crazy Pepe Zellner fan out there Do who's you like, guys... I gotta have it. Well, maybe. Or they want to see a video of us taking it to play against sports. I know, right? I didn't know Texas had those stores. Yeah, there's a couple. They're we have franchisable, a... Oh. you know. Oh, sorry about hitting the camera there. Franchisable? Yeah, okay. a friend from high school. His parents owned a play it again sports well, in my town. Well, there you go. There you go. All right, um, electronics. Big, gnarly electronics. I'm a theater person, background. Right. So I knew what these were as soon as I saw them. This is from APC. It's a rack mount power distribution unit. Um, the first thing that tipped me off to look this thing up was this massively giant power cord. Anytime you see a power cord that's like the circumference of your thumb. <laughs> that means it handles some serious, serious electricity. Uh, and it also has a three-phase plug on it. So this is not, obviously not a standard plug. Um, you have to have three-phase power for this, which is anything made for three-phase is- Industrial. Industrial and is going to be pricey. Yeah. It's just how it happens. Um, these were marked like 12 bucks and they were 50% off. So I think we paid, yeah, six bucks. Uh, for this thing, um, 
again, comps on eBay were over a over hundred bucks for this. So we got one of these, and then I have another one. This is a metered power distribution unit, also rack mount. Again, it's got the massive three-phase plug. Uh, it's got this um, accessory cable that came with it. This has standard plugs on the back. The other one had uh, proprietary plugs. But again, it's from APC and they make very high professional grade uh, rack mount stuff. Nice rack. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's see, what else we got? All right. Uh, you have the weirdest stuff in the hall. No. Who are we? This was 13 bucks. Show this the is, people. This is a yes. Coors, Coors Light uh, can, can cooler. Opens up here, it's got the power cord in there. I plugged it in at the store. It powered on. Uh, so I don't know if it cools. I don't know if it cools, but it does turn on. This is from Coolatron. Um, these things were selling on eBay for about 115 bucks. Mojo loves this. Mojo, you love the Coors Light can? He wants to get in it. He's just waking up, this guy. Um, so yeah, 13 bucks. If I can turn that into 113, that would be awesome. Love it. Awesome. Okay, you're like, we're, we're getting out of control. I, uh, Let's keep it going. Yeah. You guys, I told you it's a long one. It's a long one. And it's all, like some of this stuff, honestly, I forgot what we got. What is this? Oh, this is that buddy dish. Yeah, you got this. I'm not, I'm not convinced, but yeah. prove me wrong. Whatever. I mean, this is from Artem, Artemino. It's a Tuscan terracotta butter dish in this cool metal stand. Um, I looked these up. Not this exact style, but similar ones were selling for 35 to 40 bucks. Okay. Plus and shipping. Plus shipping. Yeah, that's always key with something yeah, like this. Yeah, and I mean, whatever. If you sell it 35 bucks, free shipping, something like that, it's not worth it. Not at all, because shipping something like that, you're talking at least, I mean, I would guess at least 12 bucks, maybe more. Mojo's trapped in his little house. Oh, oh. stretching it out. He's on his way. <laughs> You gonna go snowboard? Go. Snowboard cat? Snowboard cat. All right. He's riding the hills. How do you say? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Slopes. All right. This is a collectible Starbucks mug. This is the 16 ounce tumbler. These came out in, what does it say on the side here? 2018. He can't get here. Hold oh, on. Oh, poor on. guy. <laughs> All right. You keep talking. Come here. Um, these were, I don't know if they only did this the one year, but. This was like 40 bucks at okay. Starbucks. And if you had this, you could get a free, you get this filled with coffee once per day, every day of the year in 2018 for free. Do they still do that? That's I don't think deal. so. That's a great deal. Here he is, uh, guys. Mojo has made an appearance. He's, he's here. Oh, you know what? Is it, is it because of the, uh, the glam oh, cat? The stink. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I this, love it. This is a glam cat. Uh, I see that. New with tag. This is Esperanza 2. Um, Someone collects these, don't they? Somebody definitely collects these. These are posable. They may or may not contain catnip. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, no. Here, put it near him. But they were, there was only one sold for like 35, 40 bucks. And then there was maybe eight listed for around 80 bucks. So. Hashtag cat stuff sells. Ha cat stuff sells. Is there catnip in this, buddy? You tell me. Oh. <laughs> no, he'd be way more interested. For sure, he'd be licking it if there was catnip in it. All right, um, man, I don't. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna keep grabbing stuff. This, oh, there's a there's a receipt in there. I don't know that there. This is a little Barney plush. We love selling Barney. Barney. I mean, we don't love selling it, but right. Like, Itself. There's a battery thing in there. I gotta put new batteries in there to see if this guy still talks. Uh, if it works and talks, it's obviously worth a little bit more. Uh, but Barney stuff sells. The VHS tapes, especially for some reason, are very popular. I know. I have no idea. Um, I don't know what's going on with this. This is the third Camelback type thing that we found in the past like week, and it's still sealed too. So. <laughs> brand new ish uh this was 10 bucks um that's a lot it is but i mean we'll either use this as a gift or list it which and it should go for about 30 to 40 my dad he wants to put liquor in his 
He hey. said, I could bring that to the bar. Hey, we're not going to tell really you, what you what you can and can't do <laughs> with, your, with your camel bag. Hey, um, I mean, anything you want to keep cold. Exactly right. Whoa! I had to. I Whoa. had to. I had no choice. Look at these. Look at those free people jeans that somebody with a bedazzler went totally nuts on. I couldn't leave them. <laughs> I could not leave them. She was like, are these factory? And I'm like, I don't think so. Someone I think did a good job, though. did this themselves. But these are, these are free people jeans. Is it going to focus? Come on. There you go. That's close enough. Sorry about that. That's as good as it's going to get. Size 25, factory distressed. Um, not They're factory cool. bedazzled, but whatever. Did you pay $17 for these? Didn't you? No, they were on sale. I went They were half 17. price at least, yeah. right? At least. Okay. But they're also my size. Uh -oh. And I'm like, uh -oh. can I pull these off? <laughs> I'm sure you could. I don't leave stuff like this behind. If it's unique like this, people will pay. That's true. That's true. I'm going to do more research. Oh, look, there's a tampon in the pocket. Is there? That was free. Score. Just a wrapper. Okay. Uh, this was four bucks. That's this is gross. made well. I could have sworn I've heard Amy say she's not going to pick up Madewell anymore. Oh, no, I may have gotten this. But it's a medium Madewell I, striped I, shirt with buttons on the back? Question it's mark? It's very, this is this is like 70s-esque with some high-waist flare jeans. Come on. Yeah, that's, that's cool. There you go. I know. I, only pick up, I don't pick up the, I left so much Madewell behind at that store. I don't do the t-shirts anymore because you can get them at Nordstrom Rack for the same price. All right. This is... Pilcrow and the Letterpress, which is an anthropology brand. This was five bucks. Here's our, let's see if I can get this to, it's just not gonna it's do it, guys. I'm, it's. You gotta well, cover my face. I think it's obsessed with me. Well, it's trying to, I don't, it's trying to focus further back because we have this wide angle lens and it's, I can't get close, oh. sorry. So, um, Mojo, is Mojo loves it? it, so it's got to be worth money. Look at the sleeves. This is super cool. And this has got embroidery. I normally don't pick up anthropology yeah, anymore. Yeah, but this has a lot of really nice embroidery detail on it's the pretty. sleeves and the back. So These things that you're seeing with these certain tags, this is Texas Thrift, and their prices are out of control. They That's have great true. inventory. That's, uh, yeah. But we, we only go there like once in every blue moon. Right. Is is too expensive. Okay. These jeans are 12 bucks. I think they're my size, too. Yeah, this is a pair of Levi's wedgie skinny jeans. I love selling these. So these are, are these these are really high-waisted, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, they would come up to my chin. Button fly. Um, it's got the red, red tab on the back there. These are in a size 26. Oh, they're not my size. But they're wedgies. They're good. Mark 13. I think the, I think yellow tags were half price. Something. So, yeah. I don't pay thirteen dollars for much of anything. No. That's why we don't like going to the store. Why the price of jeans is seventeen dollars oh, and look thirteen dollars? This thing is cool, man. All right, it's it forever twenty one, which is not you know whatever, but I was gonna use this for a costume. That's why oh, I got it. Where is it? There it is, forever twenty one. There you go. This is like a moto jacket with this faux fur removable collar thing. It's not buttoned on here properly, which is why it's all flopping all over the place. But it's a it's a standard. Yeah, this was. Sixteen ninety one, so half price for Forever Twenty One. But this yeah. is a standard moto set. See, they're not seeing this. I don't pick up all moto. Oh, okay, you guys, look. This is for, for a costume. It like look. Can you move the thingy? What thingy? The fur. The fur thing. See, it's the standard styling. That's what you want because okay. these weird like asymmetric blah 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 blah. They're not as classic, and it has the classic like detailing here. Those are cool. I don't know if this is going to sell. I don't pick up Forever 21. Like I said, it was for a costume. Right. But we didn't end up using it, so now we're going to sell it. All right. We got a pair of red label Spanx. Red tag Spanx. That means it came from the Spanx store. Not at all. Not Wait, necessarily. As long as it didn't say assets on it and et cetera, et cetera. This does a... not. This just says yeah. Spanx. Size medium, five bucks. Uh, <laughs> this is a pair of shorts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Compression shorts? Compression shorts. There you go. Girl, why'd you let me buy these? Someone done cut these off. Oh, no. Because their mini dress was too short. Uh-oh, too short. It looks like someone cut them off. I probably can't sell these. Anybody need some compression shorts? Right, here you go. All right, guys, circling jer uh, jerseys. Excuse me? Circling, cycling, cycling jerseys are... Um, good. Resale value on cycling jerseys is pretty good. 
this was seven bucks, and I picked this up immediately because of because of the print. Look at that. Cute. Right, a green eggs and ham cycling jersey. The way you know it's a cycling jersey is on the back. It's always got these two, like three, three, this one has three yeah. um, pockets, like pouches on the back for your water bottles or whatever. Um, this is from the Retro Image Apparel Company. And I looked this up and these things do comp decently well. So a cycling jersey, you're talking 50 bucks and up. We have tons of these to list. We should tons? do them all at right. Yeah, I think we have about 10. What? Mm-hmm, because they're upstairs in the death pile. We got a bunch for free. What is this? Oh, I got this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a kid's um, extra large. It's from Disney Parks. Of it course he got this. Jedi training trials of the is it kids Jedi rope, right? Somebody's gonna have to. Have I am that. not wearing this. This thing's pretty cool. It's got the Star Wars lining. There you go. What I pay for that? Eight, four bucks. Dan loves Star Wars. If you're new here, <laughs> <laughs> we have a four foot Chewbacca. Yes, we do. We have all the Chewbacca multiples. Oh man, look at this old Yahtzee. It's not Whoa. worth much, but if you're new, Yahtzee is our jam. Wow. My grandpa passed, and he loved Yahtzee, and we find them. E.S. Lowe and Milton Bradley time. Company, 1975. Wow, this is super vintage. Yeah, man. Just because it's E.S. Lowe, like before Milton Bradley, this might actually be worth some money to somebody. But that doesn't matter. It's We're, got sentimental it value. It has very much sentimental value. It will probably stay here. But, uh, again, if it's worth 50 or 100, <laughs> my grandfather would have done the same thing, okay? For sure, yeah. All right. We got another junk bag. This one has some crayons in it, but what really got us this one was this thing right there. Uh, this, and it even has the instruction manual. It's a TI-83 Plus graphing calculator. Um, the 83 Pluses, eh. The 84 pluses do really well, um, but as long as this thing works and turns on, it should bring in an easy 50 to 100 bucks. Okay. Junk bag. Junk bag. See? Wanna, there's some unsharpened pencils and all sorts yeah, of stuff. Yeah, we there. always get the ones, and they have office supplies and everything else is gravy. This is great. Yep. All right, this is a size 3X, uh, new with tags. I have no idea how much this was. What is it, tank top? thing from J. Jill. Oh yeah. You I got, got this for just because it was new with tags for a dollar. Yeah. So. J. Jill plus size does pretty well for us. Yeah. And it's a basic, which I normally wouldn't buy. Right. Yeah. This is just a plain white, long tank top thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. That'll do good. There you go. All right. This is a Lululemon oh, top in a size six. I don't know what I think we sold this top before in a different color. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's got like, like a scoop long. Yeah, scoop it goes neck over thing. your yoga. Feet. Oh, I see. It's good. Whoa. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's some special way to like fold that and put it on. And we'll find it. We'll figure it out. But yeah, there you go. Boom. Boom. What's the, what's your rule for Lululemon? You know, I don't buy the tank tops anymore. Unless they're a couple bucks. And, and don't overpay for it. <laughs> they, you know, Lululemon, except for the Align leggings, it's, the value's gone down a lot. So just be careful. Yeah. So is this our, yeah, that's this is stitch. our vintage single stitch t-shirt. And it is dirty. It is dirty. All right. But first thing, look at this, look at this old vintage Fruit of the Loom tag. Look at that thing. The best. The best. Fruit of, best tea, Fruit of the Loom. This is from, I don't know, WR Records. I don't know. <laughs> you were just really excited to find a single stitch. Shirt. I was. Okay. It's Tom Morell and the Time Warp Top Hands. What is that? I we have don't know. absolutely no idea. We can Google it. So here's the thing. This here's the thing. Got you water. ready? You want to show them the single stitch? Yeah. If it'll even show through, it's what that mean, show. what that means. You want to tell the people what it, what it it's means. It's just one at the bottom of shirts. It's, now there's two tell. lines, and this is just one line. Yeah. Uh, the neckline is also pretty telling. Mm -hmm. It just looks like. It looks like it's just been folded over once yeah. and stitched. So this has got water stains on it. I know exactly what these stains are. Yeah. It's been folded up, it's been in a box, and water got on it. Yep. So I'm going to soak this in OxyClean 
for a very long time. And if those stains will lift, they will lift immediately and we'll know and we'll sell it. If not, we're going to sell it with the stains. Um, that's a spiritual gangster shirt, y'all. Spiritual but is, gangster. That's it's a good brand, says. but this might stay here. Look at this shirt. That's definitely staying here. Who are you kidding? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes. Um, let's just let's see if I can. We do love selling spiritual gangster. It's a good. Let's see if I can make it happen. It's I'm really fun. trying, guys. I promise. Like. Once the new phones come out with the wide angle, because we're using an extra lens, so I, I'm sorry. It's it's, dead, fine. it's dead set on keeping the focus on us back here. Stuck with us. Uh, let's see. Got a pair of Wolverine boots at the Goodwill. Check these out. These are sweet. Is this steel toe? They're not. No. Okay. Uh, but Wolverine Wolverine boots do really well. These are these were comping. I don't know. I didn't. Didn't find this exact style, but the brand in general does well. Is they're worth eighty to over a hundred bucks on the resale market. I um, mean, these are still in good shape. These are a size nine and a half, which is good. Should move pretty quickly. We like to buy shoes at the Goodwill because they're flat fee here, six ninety nine yeah. or nine ninety nine for boots. Boots are ten bucks, yeah. And they don't mark on them, so I don't have to clean off the price oh, tags off the bottom. Right? They just like put a sticker on don't it. Don't you hate that? Like you get a. We this has happened multiple times. We find a really nice pair of like all Italian full leather, sh like the sole is leather and everything, and they've like seventeen ninety eight on written on the leather in permanent marker and just like. And you can't get it off. Like, it's the worst. You, you can't. I know people are like, use the Goo Gone, use the acetone. No, I'm talking about when it is etched into the leather. It ain't coming off. These are my office supplies. I need these. Office things. supply junk bag. <laughs> Don't pay full price for office supplies. There's a 12 pack of uh, fine tip sharpies in here. I need Would that. Would you look at that? And some binder clips. We use all this stuff. You guys, new with tags, Lafayette 148. Boom. Love selling this brand. If you don't know this brand like I didn't until recently, this is a very high-end expensive brand. These pants suggested retail price. $300 for these guys. For just some khaki pants. Yep. We have a really nice uh, cashmere dress from Lafayette 148. It's a coat. Coat. Yeah. It's really nice. we got to get that thing listed. We're going to get a lot of things listed. <laughs> True. True. Here we Our go. goal is 15 a day for the past like six months, but we're trying to scale that to 30 a day. It's rough. Stay tuned. I'll be like Rachel Maddow. Watch this space. Right. A uh, pair of more Spanx. White pull-on pants. Extra large Spanx with the red label. These do say, no, by Sarah Blakely. Okay. Um, this was a Goodwill find. I can tell by this little orange barb right there. These were what? How much are pants at the Goodwill? Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I gotta get those listed quick because they're white. They're white and they're actually. Labor Day's coming. Uh oh. That's an old rule, y'all. <laughs> Nobody follows that rule anymore. Oh, so oh. the glass just fell. Cut from the cloth trouser boot cut pants from New with Tags from Stitch Fix. I heard a YouTuber say the other day that Stitch Fix is trash. I don't agree with that. You're going you to learn them? You, you can listen to whoever you want. <laughs> uh, I believe that people that are busy order Stitch Fix. I believe that Stitch Fix is overpriced. I worked for them, so I know. <laughs> uh, I believe that people find a thing they like from Stitch Fix, and they try to get other colors or patterns. And so okay. say somebody got this cut from the cloth in a different pattern right. in the size. They know their size fits. But with Stitch Fix, you can't really request the items and be guaranteed to get them. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Okay, they just send you whatever. So if I wear a 14W in this cut from the cloth pants, and they're my career pants, I go to eBay and type in cut from the cloth, Stitch Fix 14W. Right. And then there they come up, there and they people are. buy it. It's not trash. Not trash. That's my opinion. I work for them. I, my opinion might matter to someone, because I find a lot of it new with tags at the stores. These are BCBG Max Azria. These are just so, super These cool. These are super cool. Like ankle, little ankle boots. I couldn't leave them. With a whole bunch of what, stud, studs yeah. all over them. These are sweet. And they have this cool like little lip on the, uh, on the heel. Little unique feature like that. That's cool. Uh, the sole is in great shape still. They're super cool. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you ever spy that right there, Vero Kuo. That's Italian for all leather. It means the whole thing's leather. Have very high quality. High quality. quality. Yep. I did not comp them, but they were from the Goodwill, and they were 
Price at six ninety nine. Just says women's shoes, not boots. Those are great. Yeah. And uh, I know we can move those. Yes. And turn a, a pretty good profit without even copying them. Speaking of things that will move, here's a pair of gray Allbirds. We're not scared. We're not scared. Some people, all right. A lot of people have are they're hesitant to list Allbirds because they are on the Vero list on eBay. Which, and if you don't know, the Vero list is the Verified Rights Owners Program. So anything that's copywritten, they try to protect the copyright holder. So that's why you can't use the word Velcro in your listings, because that the word is actually copyrighted and is, it's branded. 3M owns the trademark of Velcro. But I could sell Velcro that said Velcro. Right. If you're actually selling the Velcro branded product, then... You, you're not or gonna a have bunt a cake pan. I found some at the thrift the other day from Bunt. Ah, like okay. So yeah. So when something's on the Vero list, there is a huge misconception that that means you are not allowed to sell it on eBay. All right, which is not true. Um, caveat. caveat. Unless it's been recalled. True. If it's been recalled. Okay. But like, like. Allbirds, the company, they have no standing to tell you, like if you went out and bought these shoes yourself at the store, nobody, including Allbirds, has the right to tell you that you are not allowed to resell them further. So the Vero program on eBay, like I said, it protects intellectual property. So if the word Allbirds is actually trademarked and they don't want you to use that, fine, fine. don't. You call them wool running shoes. Washable or Washable sneakers, sneakers or yeah. something. Just don't use their, and stock images is another no-no. That's how they get you because stock images are technically intellectual property of the copyright holder. So as long as you're taking your own pictures, you're not copying and pasting item descriptions from the website. That's a big one. You ha should have zero problem listing stuff that's on the Vero list. We'll let you know. Yep. Uh, We're gonna right. try it out. More junk bags. Love it. <laughs> this one's full of plush and stuffed animals. Was there something in here particular that made you grab it? A Webkins with a tag. The Webkins with a tag. Yeah, that's why I got it's that one. Shining Stars. Is that something different? No, I have this one for okay. Brittany. It's a giraffe. It's, it's the same. Okay. So you can buy these Shining Stars things and they dedicate a star to your person. Oh, that for. that's so cool. From Russ, yeah. yeah. Okay. So maybe not Webikins, but it's a similar situation. Yeah. Where there's a, a code you a can scan. Something about frogs. Plush frogs are like hot right now. And there, there's also is. a sock monkey in here. There's some good things in here, and we paid a dollar, so I'm taking a chance on this one. Do it. All right, I'm gonna. This is a the largest the, haul. Move the pile a little bit closer here. We're coming up on an hour. Are we? Yes. Yeah, 48 Sweet. minutes. Wait. Whoa, elephant in the room. Elephant in the room. <laughs> we gotta talk about the elephant in the room, you guys. It's an actual elephant. In egg. the room. Should they, we hang this in our house? That's pretty cool. Maybe. Um, this is from Yag. Jag, J-A-A-G. I like um, how you keep trying to show them. These I know. I, this was 10, 10 bucks, half price, five bucks. Uh, it looks like the tusks used to have some kind of coating that has maybe started to kind of come off a little bit. But uh, general rule of thumb when it comes to plush, stuff that is of this size and something unique like this is usually worth taking the chance on. Stuff this size will usually sell for upwards of 50 bucks all day long. Just depends. Just depends, yeah. But like, I mean... We sold a big it's dinosaur unique. head like this. Yeah, I mean, how often are you gonna find a fake taxidermy elephant head? You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. There are others on eBay, not from this brand, but something that looks exactly like this that sells, that ha has sold comps for over a hundred bucks. Perfect. So. That's why I've, why not? Take a chance, man. That's how I'm feeling. Uh, we got some old uh, VHS tapes in another junk bag. Um, oh, PBS Kids. Yeah, Teletubbies and a Bob the Builder. Um, Again, I don't remember either one of these being super, super valuable, but I paid, it was 95 cents for the two. 
each one of these will probably bring around 20 bucks. Here's what happened. This was somebody's favorite Teletubbies movie as a kid. Now they have a kid and they want to show it to them. Right. And they can't find it. So that's, right. that's how this stuff moves. Exactly right. Um, I took a chance on this guy. This, this is an Ultraman Ooh, DVD. Ultraman. It's like a, it's like a Japanese live action mm. thing. Um, upon further review, I think <laughs> this might be a bootleg <laughs> because the uh, the resolution upon further review. resolution isn't so great. It's a little blurry. Uh, and that, <laughs> that's totally somebody totally printed that on, right, their, on, their lights, on their light scribe and let me, let me see here yeah that's we can't sell this that, that's a burned DVD <laughs> son of a so you're learning learn here alright uh, what is this guy this is a hug fun plush octopus that looks very much like a jelly cat but it's not a jelly cat it is not a jelly cat um it's worth like thirty. Yeah, Hug Fun is not again. It's not the greatest brand. Their big stuff like this will sell okay. Uh, Cho Sun is the one you're looking for. If you find a Cho Sun plush, chances are that thing's worth at least fifty bucks. For sure. Yep. Uh, let's see. We got more electronics. Um, I picked up this Panasonic VCR for five bucks. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, uh, as long as everything, as long as it works and I'm able to play a tape on it, this thing should bring 75 or more. It'd be better if I had the remote, but I don't. But you don't. But uh, I don't. Okay. No remote. All right. Uh, Where do we get all this? Stuff? I don't. I don't have any idea. Um, we weird, unique plush sells, right? The weirder, the better. Doesn't get much weirder than that. <laughs> what is that? It's a rabbit with a mustache. That's a rabbit? That looks like a pig. I think it's a rabbit. Okay. Uh, it's from Kid Robot uh, and Kozik, which, again, I don't know Kozik, but I know Kid Robot. Um, okay. Stuff like this, it's... It's unique. Specialty and unique. Yeah. Um, this will do. This will do well. Somebody knows what that is. Yep. Oh man, we got more plush. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. It's Lamb Chop. You guys remember Lamb Chop? I definitely. This is the song. Oh, uh, don't do it. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't. I'm gonna you get do so it. many comments. Don't, below. don't. I already did it. Shh. I already shh. did it. All right. This is a new Lamb Chop stuff. <laughs> this isn't like a vintage. Right. Is oh, it, it is. is 1993. It? Okay. Is that when Lamb Chop, I think Lamb Chop's older than 93. I think Lamb Chop's definitely older than 93. Lamb Chop's look like a little bit of a stoner. A little bit. Know? Lamb Chop's been hitting the chop. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hand puppets are big right now. I don't know why. Yes. All right, this. We got we got a couple more plush in this bag. This is from Manhattan Toy. Love this brand. Which is a great brand. Their newer tags are all blue with a white crown, so I think this is a slightly older tag it's white and it has like a multicolor crown on it uh look at this cute little stuffed pig with the hard embroidery somebody somebody loves somebody had this absolutely loves it and it either got destroyed or lost or something yep. so somebody would definitely pay decent money for that guy somebody's on ebay right now typing manhattan toy company stuffed pig with yellow heart and they're not getting anything not yet we haven't listed this that's right all right um and I'm gonna. Con we're continuing to ride the sloth train. Sloths are hot. This is a Christmas sloth. Uh, this is from Pier One, which is no longer around. And that's literally that's the only reason I got this, because. <laughs> Why I was not on board with this purchase. <laughs> no, you're not. But it's a Christmas sloth from Pier One. I'll I think, eat my I think words. We should, hopefully, we should decent. This should do decent. I think. All right. Hopefully, I eat my words. Oh, man, we're just we're just moving piles of stuff from one side of the room to the other. Um, uh, right, home goods, pillows. What are these? These are from Anthropology. These are nice. You got two of these. So they but tipped me off. They don't have any Anthropology tag. It's a zipper, and it was like gold, and it's exposed. I was yeah. like, this is a really nice pillow. Right. So then when I opened it up, which I always do, I'm like, oh, there's no tag. 
there is a tag and it says the RN number is 66170. And we all know if you're a reseller, well, if you don't, now you do. 66170 is Free People, Urban Outfitters, and Anthropology. Ah. So that's how I knew. So these may have been Urban Outfitters, but I'll, I'll Google image them and comp them, but they were a good price. You know, I guarantee nice. you there's somebody watching this video right now that's like, what is a RN number? It's the number on every piece of clothing, at least, that tells you. You can go to RN number lookups on Google and figure out what the brand is if the brand tag is missing. Yes. So, but I know in my in my heart. <laughs> 66170. I know that in my heart. All right, I'm going to make a little bit more room here real quick. We have so much stuff. Jesus. We're rounding out home, though. Don't worry. Are we? Are you uh, sure? I think we have two more bags. It was... This bag. We have oh, this three pile more bags. Here and... Yikes, you guys. All right, we're going we're gonna to do these other pillows real quick. Yeah, we have two more big pillows. Two more pillows. We sell throw pillows. I don't see anybody else on YouTube selling them. We do. These are from Pier 1 also. Uh, this is nice. This is beaded. It's got some texture to it. It's... Peacock stuff does really well. So it's also got the metal zipper thing, which tipped me off that it was a little bit higher end. Uh, and there were two um, peacock. The peacock pillows from Pier 1 are selling for surprising amount of money. I didn't find this exact one as a comp, but something very similar. So I'm taking a chance on it. Cool. Uh, we also found three of these uh, vintage AMF Voigt diving masks in the box still. I'm not 100% on board with this either. Isn't AMF bowling? It is, yeah. Uh, Voigt Sports, these, like I said, look, they still have the price tag from the old school store. These were twenty six fifty at the swim shop back in the day. So these are expensive. Try it out. Boom, <laughs> check those out. Um, it's still in the box, which is which is why I picked them up. Two ninety nine a piece. Somebody was asking me about props in one Did, of the like, comments. This is a perfect perfect thing, like so for a props. If you house. have something that's vintage and you're like, I don't know if it works anymore, this is what you do. You put it in sold as is, new in box, and then you put would make a perfect prop. Yeah. Put the word prop for a television or movie feature right. film. Because people do really source props and stuff on eBay. We all the time. It's happened to us before. Oh man, more bags of stuff. Jeez. All right. This this I was this. this was all in a junk bag mixed in with a bunch of other random toys and you went through and picked out all the good ones. Yeah. And the reason I bought the junk bag is because there's some wooden Thomas the Trains in there. Look at that guy. The wooden ones do really well. Yes. Like 20 bucks each for a little baby train. That's crazy. And there's also some uh, cars too. Cars in here. So cool. I do not list everything from the junk bag. I have to get this through to people. Right. I get messages about this. You just list the stuff that's worth it. The rest of the stuff goes right on back to Goodwill. Yep. So I picked all, this is all the good stuff. The junk bag was huge. So imagine, this is the good stuff. There's more than this that was not good. All right, let's see. I found this. This That's still cute. This is really cool. This is uh, from Gund. Still has the tags on it. And this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex backpack, right? That is cute. So this is like a trifecta. We need to list this today. For Dinosaurs. Back plush from Gund and a backpack like and it has tags yeah it has all the tags it's I think I don't remember I don't know what year this is from but I think it's a few years old that's cool so this this should be this should bring in a decent amount of profit yep mm. all right again yeah I find another one why I don't know quantity too I'm just gonna update my <laughs> listing <laughs> well, he's obsessed with plush. Uh, oh my god. You guys, it's the, <laughs> it's the Barbie cat. Um, again. Cat stuff sells. Cat stuff sells. I don't know anything about Barbie. These eyelashes, though. I just, I, 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 I just took, a, I'm like, okay, this thing's from, it's Mattel, it's like, got a huge battery pack thing in it so it, it either talks or meows or walks or something i can't wait 
But I have it, to know. It's genuine Barbie. It's got 2004 on the copyright tag. So <laughs> for me, this was a no-brainer to grab and try to flip for four bucks. We're going to try it. Barbie cat. Barbie. Mojo's jealous. Look at him. He's, jealous. He's sleeping. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> he's been replaced. Um, oh, surprise. More, more stuffed animals. We have no This room. is also new with tags from the Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company. A lion. He's cute. He's super cute. Look at him. He's very soft. Uh, two bucks. Again, I don't know this brand, but it's new with tags. Um, His hair is woofing. Trying it. Okay. Right. Sport code. Wouldn't be a hustle couple haul without at least one. That is correct. <laughs> but look at that, guys. Babe, you can't get close. Come on. You have to get far. It's not, it's not gonna work. It's a white tag. It says Versace collection. I, I found really a Versace did. for four dollars. Are you kidding me? These people, these some of these thrift stores don't know what they're doing. Like it, I love it. It, yeah. This is oh, and it's eighty-five percent wool, fifteen percent silk. Oh, nice. Um, it really does. It kills me. Like I'm flipping through the sport coats and I see this marked for $4 and literally right next to it is a Joseph A. Bank for 12. I'm just like, uh, nope. <laughs> hey, more for us. That's um, fine with me. Right? Totally fine with oh, me. Oh, we've hit an hour. We've hit an hour. Sweet. We're still going. <laughs> I more, had no idea we had this much stuff. More Barbie stuff. Here. I bought this. This is a Barbie Jeep. Uh, we buy Barbie planes, trains, and automobiles. Yes. And this is one of them. So we always pop it, and this one's okay. Yeah, Big this plastic one, sells. Yeah, the Jeep, there was two. They had a car and the Jeep. The Jeep was worth more, so we left the car. Um, Jesus. I, okay, come on with I it. I swear we are not only plush sellers. But you there's are. Just, there's a lot here. This was something unique and random. There was only one on eBay. I have no idea what this is. We don't care. We'll sell it. But yeah, it'll it'll go. Um, this is from Nickelodeon's The Loud House. Oh, and this is niche. Yes. So specialty stuff like this will definitely go. Um, I don't know this show. I don't know this character. But I looked it up on eBay and the comps were, were decent. Cool. So this is another one of those where like, yeah, and you, normally you wouldn't. You would pass something like this up if you didn't know. Because it looks cheap. Right. To me, it looks cheap. But it's a niche character. Yep. I'm here for it. Watch our What's Sold. I, watch, I bet this sells this week. Speaking of niche characters, this is Domo. In a, I found him. In a pig suit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Domo, it, it's a Japanese thing. Somebody wants this bad. Bad. Like this, yeah. People that love Domo love Domo. I, I, I think we've sold Domo before. I think we have. I remember cleaning his little teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. This is all plush? This, the la well, there's two more, yeah. And then there's the board game. So this, look at that. This guy looks... He is a humpback. He's super humpbacked. I don't know what's going on there. His face and paws and everything, this guy looks like a stife bear, okay? It's not, yeah, it's it's not I thought because it, was. it doesn't. it doesn't have the tag. I think <laughs> this is like... A U.S. made knockoff of a stife from Figures. around the same time period. This says, I am a Sternsy bear from the Stearns Country Store in Missouri. Oh, okay. Um, again, this is one of those things where I looked it up and the comps were coming back pretty good. So this is nostalgia, right? For Collectible sure. Collectible nostalgia. Somebody Americana. from Missouri wants this. Somebody needs this. And like these larger jointed stuffed animals usually bring in a little bit more money. Okay. So, there you I go. have no there's, to put there's your friend. Um, we got one more big bear. You know, where are we going to put this? This is a vintage Dakin. Uh, vintage Dakin stuff usually does pretty good, especially if it's around the 18 to 24 inch size. You Strapping know. to the ceiling. Uh, we're Literally. Gonna, we're going to have to get another hammock. It's out of control. We have six. Six hammocks hanging in our office. Um, now we're going to have eight. I know, right? And no more ceiling space. This I, is the buy of the day. I couldn't believe this was just sitting there and everybody was walking around this. This is super Scrabble. Still 
factory sealed in the plastic. This game is worth a ton. Sold comps for this are $100 plus all day long, especially since it's still factory sealed. I mean, and it will sell immediately. Yes. Like our sales are pretty slow this week, we should just list it right now. Yes, we should. So what is the deal with Super Scrapple? It's got a larger board, right? Girl, so can, I do not know. But yeah, 441 spaces compared to 225. You could Scrabble to your heart's content. You, you want a Super Scrabble? There you go. We like any of the Super games. Like off shoots of really popular games do really well for us yep. for the most part. All right. Nickelodeon stuff is also kind of really popular at the moment. This is a sealed uh, Avatar The Last Airbender character. Um, when I scanned the barcode on this, there was only two listed on eBay, and I think one was listed for 30 or 40, and the other one was listed for 40 or 50. So this is going to be one of those where we list it, list it for high 50, 60 bucks maybe, and just sit on it and wait. Because Christmas. if we only have, if there's only three sealed on eBay and we have one of them, you just gotta wait till the other two go. And if you have the only one? You command, you are in charge of the market. You get to set your price. And we've done that many times. And I find that with new resellers asking me questions, they, they're they afraid. They're like, well, the solds were only. I'm like, well, they're gonna offer you what it's worth. Right. And they're gonna pay what it's worth. So you set the price. And if they want it bad enough, that's if you're the only one. Right. And the sell through rate's out of control. Yeah. Like if you're the only one and everybody else is sold, that means it's a hundred percent sell through rate or ninety nine percent if yours is listed. Yeah. You set the price. That's exactly right. Is that everything? No, we still got this stuff over here. Um so this was in a junk bag hanging on the wall, and I took one look at this and knew it was something slightly unique. Right? I had no idea. I mean, I touched it and I was like, what is this? Okay, so there was a couple of clues for me. The first thing I noticed was this logo right here. It says Republic of Gamers. So any- Nerds. <laughs> that's okay. Anything that's made for gaming PCs is potentially valuable, all right? And then also it says Asus, which I know is a graphics card and motherboard manufacturer. Um, so I took a chance on this. This was seven bucks. I got it home and was able to Google lens it and figured out this is a overclocking control panel for your graphics cards. So you either mount this in your computer or it can sit externally and you can overclock your graphics cards manually through this. I'm interested. It's worth about a hundred bucks, maybe more. Does it work on Mac? No. Oh. Not, not interested? No. <laughs> I work out on my graphics cards. Uh, let's see. Doing my regular job work. This is a Cutco knives, knife block, Cutco. If you can find the knives, they sell really, really well. Uh, the blocks will also move, but they take a little bit more time. Yep, Cutco's a good brand to sell. I love it. It is. Um, you know, and I saw a post from somebody else who had something similar, not Cutco, but all there's other really good, high quality, like kitchen knives, like uh, J.A. Henkel's and Wusthof especially, they have lifetime warranties, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a great trick. I saw somebody do it. They found a bunch of old uh, Wusthof knives, mm -hmm. sent them back to Wusthof for their lifetime warranty. And what they do now, instead of sending you new knives, they just give you store credit. Like somebody sent in five or six, like really terrible condition. Wait, rusty I, have, I have some. Yeah, and this, yeah. they gave them like $185 worth of credit. They're like, here you go. Okay, we're gonna do that. Cause I have junk bags full of knives. Forever warranty, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll see uh, about that, we'll try it out. We'll couple you more know. things, we picked up back. another factory stereo head unit. There you go, that's the right side up. Um, from 2014, it's got the serial number, part number, it's Panasonic. Um, I believe this came out of a, um, a Scion or something. I'm not oh. sure. These are really good pickups when people are trying to sell their car and they want to get their own head unit out of the car. They want to put the original one back in the car. There you go. Or whatever. Or right. use car dealerships, buy them from us. Like, we just buy them. Look got at this a, guy. Got another little unicorn squishmallow. We're going to ride this trend till it dies. The squishmallow trend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sure are. It's not dead yet. Not yet. Uh, 
couple. We got another little junk bag over here. There's some, oh, Grateful Dead hair ties. Check those out. If it has Grateful Dead on it, I will buy it. That's a good buy. That's a good pickup. Hmm. Um. <laughs> yes. Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter figure, yeah. action figure, wrestling an alligator. Man, that's that's good. That's why I bought that that's one. Why it's you got bought some that. McDonald's in there. Sometimes McDonald's is okay, but most of the time it's not. But Steve right? Irwin, yeah. Uh, you bought this. Yeah, there's like some Disney pencils. He's obsessed with the pencils. Learn to skate. There's, I don't know. Every once in a while, you'll find a gem in these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see this carpenter pencil. So. See this Thompson wood. See this carpenter pencil might be even really? like these kind of things. Yeah, these are the kind of things you need for a prop. Oh, okay. That's how I pick up props. All right. Let's see. We I picked up some more, some more jewelry, some more watches. I found a couple of good ones. I think this is a little gold tone uh, Bulova ladies watch. I, I'm sure. Yeah, the, I'm gonna have to put a new battery in here. Um, Don't pay to get batteries put in watches. Yeah, it's not not so. Go hard. on Amazon and just get you a little kit. Right. And some batteries. It's so expensive. You don't make any profit. Okay, so there's that one. Unless it's a Rolex, okay? Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> a real Rolex, first of all, has a mechanical movement in oh, it. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take batteries. That's right. If somebody's like, this Rolex needs a new battery, bye. It's not real. <laughs> That's such a good point. <laughs> um, what is this? This is a gold tone quartz from... What did I, why did I buy this? Your eyes are too good for this. I cannot do it. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. What is that? We don't know. I can't. Uh, mm, I All right, don't know. Let me look at this thing. Oh, it's pretty though. It's yeah. I mean, and it's got a green. I think green stickers were like three bucks. So this, like. I would never buy bucks. this stuff, you guys. This is why reselling is so subjective. <laughs> and we just happen to be a team that we have two different. Skill sets. Yeah. I would have never bought anything in the jewelry case. Elon? Maybe? Eon? Yeah, Ion? I'm not sure. Quartz. It's quartz. So this is a Seiko. A little Seiko gold quartz. Um, again, with, with most watches like Seiko and... Seiko makes two kinds. They make quartz watches and they also make mechanical watches. Um, quartz watches use batteries, mechanical watches don't. Um, mechanical is higher quality and more expensive. Quartz, yeah. So, but Seiko is a great brand. Um, even their quartz stuff will hold, will hold value. So. He got all these at one store. He was just loading up on watches. Maybe sometimes they're there's, often the same sometimes there's a good thing, you know, there's a good selection. This is a great old lady watch for a movie. All right, I'm very interested in this one. This is a Seiko, but it's a Seiko automatic. So this isn't, this, like you can tell the case is a little thicker um, and it has, it has these notches in the back. So the case actually unscrews, it doesn't just pop off. This has a mechanical watch movement in it. So these don't require batteries. So. Automatic means you just wind it, and then the motion of you carrying it around on your arm keeps keeps the movement wound, and will keep the watch running. It's amazing. Um, I tried to I tried to wind this in the store and like here listen for the ticking of the movement. It didn't do anything in the store, so I don't know if the movement just needs service or what. But like I said, a Seiko uh, mechanical watch is if I can get this to work, it'll be worth some decent money. Wow. And last but not least is another quartz, but it's from Citizen. Citizen is a great, reputable brand. This is nice leather band. Uh, it still has like the safety sticker on the back, so I don't know how often this has been worn. Again, quartz watch, this is really easy to replace the battery and will probably bring in a decent amount of money. It's like, I mean, it was $4, I'm not, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Never would have looked at this stuff, ever. All right, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail fans, where are you at? Right here. Right here. Look at these. It's the rabbit 
the rabbit from Monty Python slippers with his giant, huge, pointy teeth. <laughs> I saw these sitting on the shelf, and I was like, what in the hell? And, I, and then I picked them up, and I looked at the tag, and on the tag, it actually says, rabbit with big, pointy teeth, plush slippers. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That's awesome. So these are legit, licensed, Holy Grail merch. Merch. Love uh, it. Somebody is dying to have these in their collection, and I will happily pay $3.50 for them. We just sold the Rick and Morty <clears throat> slippers. That's right. Slippers are going. Um, all right, we got... Oh my gosh, it's still going. Four things. Four more things. All right. Let us know it, down below if you like long thrift hauls, if you've made it this far. Because people keep wanting us to do long form videos. Here we are. There you go. It's going to ruin our YouTube metrics. I know, right? This is a super awesome vintage rummy cube set. This is so cool. Look at that. This might be, have to be a gift for somebody. Something. It's got these wooden tile holders. All the tiles are still in there. Um, this is so cool. The case, I mean, it looks like it's trying to be a Gucci with this green and red striping. Yeah, it does, kind of. <laughs> um, yeah, this was super cool. Again, I have no idea if this is worth money, but Rummy Cube is one of those things that has, it's become um, It's a family it's tradition. It's a family thing, yeah. So this was seven bucks. My family plays Rummy Cube and Yahtzee at every event. All right, we got a couple of t-shirts that we grabbed and then we're done. So <clears throat> this is from Cryptic. K-R-Y-P-T-E-K. This brand does pretty well. They make uh, like camouflage stuff like this, like outdoor hunting stuff. Um, somebody, I think somebody added this themselves. Mm. It looks like it's trying to be a Kansas City Chiefs logo, logo, but it doesn't say KC, it just says C. So I don't know. I th I think somebody might have gotten like a cricket and mm -hmm. eyed this on themselves. Uh, we'll so I don't know it. if we can sell that or not, but we'll no, try. No, we can. Um, I heard somebody talking about uh, that Affliction was still good. It's still good. We still sell it. So you guys, you guys all remember Affliction, right? From the early two thousands MMA. I hey do day. not remember that. No. Some people might not, but if you were in that scene, maybe. Yeah, I mean this stuff you can. You can tell affliction stuff on the rack. Like, it screams from it's the rack. It's screaming. Right? Oh, it's screaming. It's screaming something, and it usually has, like, this shiny embellishment stuff on it. It's got lots of floor de lis and angel wings and that kind of stuff on it. Uh, very popular with the MMA crowd, so that'll do well. Okay. Uh, and then you got this Vandals t-shirt that you're probably going to try to keep. Oh, I'm going to try to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to see if any Vandals fans want this. Right. Uh, but I'm a Vandals fan, and I want it, so maybe other people want it as well. And I think we made it. I think that was it. What about the metal... Where's that? Oh, the metal Minecraft figures. Yeah, I don't know about these, but I got them. Yeah, I, I think you can still get these on Amazon. Mm, they're Amazon specials. Maybe. But stuff like... I mean, these are metal uh, Minecraft minifigures. Um... Minecraft was after my time. I still... Same. I, I, mm, but very popular. I don't know if these little metal figurines... Like I said, I think they're still available on Amazon. Okay. But, well, I'll look them up. Eh. This will help drive, drive conversions, for sure. If, yeah. not, if nothing else. So, There's um, some mini figs in there as well. Let me make sure... From there's Legos. There's nothing else hiding over here. I can't believe how much that we have. Oh, the Wagner thing. We got the Wagner thing. You we want to go... Grab it, yeah, that. It's, it's under the blanket there. Yeah. What about those caps? Oh no, we did those in a haul. We did those last time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> help, send help. All right, this is from Wagner. They make like painting stuff. You know, the power rollers and stuff oh, like I that. Oh, I know. So I saw this thing sitting there. This is like a canister steam cleaner, right? It's got this steam wand attachment. It's got a trigger. It's got the little little brush attachments there. And then it also has this uh, this large brush on a long handle thing. Uh, so uh, this is for like steam cleaning and like 
I think it's designed to help you get wallpaper off your walls mm -hmm. um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was 20 bucks at the thrift, and the comps online are all way over 100 Yay! So. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. We bought a steamer before, and it didn't work. Right. It just spit hot water all over the place. It was a danger to society. <laughs> we both got burned. Ah! <laughs> um, but yeah, that so, that's the stuff that if, we picked up last week. Yeah, and if you're new here, and if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. We sell all kinds of stuff, so I, I can't imagine there wouldn't be something of value. We are trying to put up two or three videos a week now. Always Monday night, Tuesday morning, there will be a video for you yep. about what sold, which I think is the most valuable kind of reselling content. Right. Because if it's selling, then you can use that as proof, right? This stuff might sell. Yeah, this is still <laughs> untested. <laughs> but it's a, it's a sampling of the kind of stuff we do. We do plush, we do clothing, we do board games, we do luxury jewelry. I mean, appliances, we do everything. Right. We're not scared to try new stuff. And you shouldn't be either. No. Nope. So. Our uh, eBay sales have quadrupled since expanding out of clothing. Yeah, yeah. For quadrupled. Sure. Yeah. In the last six months. That's not over years. In six months, we quadrupled our eBay sales. That's right. And sir, like, and we have a video. Go back and watch it. Um, and I can even put up a card if I have. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Um, Advance mode. I know, right? <laughs> When we when we started listing stuff and adding adding non clothing into our store, we started listing fifteen things consistently every single day, and it really did help drive a lot of traffic to our store. The month after we started listing fifteen items every single day, our sales jumped two hundred fifty percent. So they were two and a half times more than they were the previous thirty days. And like I'm, we can be more than happy to show you the. The screenshots of that we're not not exaggerating that one bit so join us for our journey that's right thank you for hanging out with us and sticking around this long to watch all this crazy stuff we bought leave a comment down below <laughs> if you made it to the end that's right thank you we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.